In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change text on your premium press website. Firstly, log into the admin area of your WordPress website and we need to install the translation plugin. So the first thing we do is click on plugins. If we haven't already got the translation plugin available, we will click on add new. We go ahead and search for plugin. Now the plugin name is called Loco Translate, L-O-C-O -O, Translate. So we type that in and we search. And the plugin we're looking for is this one here, Loco Translate. Now, as you can see, because I've already got it installed, it's going to ask me to update. And if you haven't got it installed already, you'll see this button called Install Now. So go ahead and install Loco Translate. Now, once you've got it installed, make sure it's activated. Again, under the plugins, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Okay. And once you've activated on the left hand side, you should now see a Loco Translate plugin menu. So here we can go ahead and start creating translations for our website. So the first thing we do is select the uh, bundle name and you'll always notice with premium press themes, the bundle text domain is premium press. So select the one that says text domain premium press. In this case, I have the car dealer theme. So I'm going to click this one. Now this page shows you all of the existing translations that are available for your theme. So as you can see by default, we have a number of translations such as Arabic, German, Spanish, etc. And we have a few options. We can go ahead and edit the existing translation, or we can edit the core translation, which is the default um, language setup for the Premier Press team. So let me show you that first. This is the um, core translation. So if I go ahead and edit the core translation, these are all of the default translations for the Premier Press team. So these are all the texts that are in the language file for Premier Press. And again, if I click on Car Dealer theme, these are all the translations based on that core translation. So if, for example, I'm running my website in English, which is the default one, um, let's have a look at my website. Say so this is the overview page and I want to change something like here. It says search website. I want to change the text. Now, because I'm running English, the English is the default language file. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new language file so that I don't um, mess about with the default one. So I click create new. When it says the um, language, so let's choose a language. Obviously, I want it to be English, so English United States. The choose the location is very important. Never, never install a language file inside of the theme folder. So it says the first one, themes DT10. Never, never do that. Because as soon as you update your theme, you'll lose all of your language translations. So make sure you're installing the um, new language file outside of the themes folder. So select any of the ones underneath. So language themes or language loco themes. Personally, I like to keep it all in the loco. So I'll keep it languages and the loco. So I'll just leave it as default. And now I'll click start translating. Now, basically what this is doing is creating a new file based on the default one um, for Primpress theme so that we can go ahead and create our own edits without destroying the, um, the call, the default one. So now to find and change translations, we use this translations uh, filter translations box. And from here, we just search for anything we want to translate. So in this case, again, where it says search website, I would just type in search website. You can see I have a number of different ones, so I can go ahead and translate the ones that I want. This looks to me to be this one here with the few dots at the end. So I'll just go ahead and change this to testing one, two, three, click on save. And then if I refresh my website, you can see now that the text has been translated to the top. Now there's a few things to remember. The default language that I'm using for this website is English. So obviously because I've created a new English file, um, when I'm translating and changing text, this is going to work automatically. If my website is, for example, is running Spanish, um, as my default language and set up in WordPress as my default, when I create a new language, I would select Spanish or Japanese or whatever, whatever the language my default one is. Now, if I'm using the translation options, so for example, if the user is um, selecting um, different languages from the drop down menu, so let's try and get that. So as you can see here, we have this drop down menu here on the, on the left, so the user can select a different language. These are the languages, again, that are available on the options here. 
So if I wanted to create a translation for an additional file for say, Spanish, I would select the Spanish option here, click on edit and do the exact same process. Find the default English translation. So, um, so search for example, and then I would select the value, click on it once, you can see the source text and then you create your translation under here. Obviously because this is a default language file, you can see the translation has already been created for you. So it's very, very easy to change text in your website. You simply use the locate translation option. You find the one with the text domain premium press. So you, you click on this one. Then you can either change any of the existing ones or if you want to change the core language file, which is the English one by default, you simply click on add new and then create a new language file for English. And that way you can create your own language changes without affecting the default theme, without destroying the default theme. So that's it, it's quick and easy. Thanks for watching.